Hey guys, so I thought, you know, it's a holiday weekend, I've got a little bit more time, which is awesome, and I thought I'd expand a little bit on something that I mentioned in the video in my last post, and that is, how is NASA actually structured? Okay, and if you ever come to work for us, it's really important to know where you fit into the big picture. Okay, so I'm going to walk you through this using my handy dandy, very well loved, very well used whiteboard, and because I got this during college and it was awesome to have for studying for tests and stuff, so I would recommend this. But yes, I still have it and I still use it. <laughs> um, so, alright, so I'm going to just draw out some of this stuff and uh, hopefully it'll be, you know, very, very easy for you to follow. Um, but what I'm going to be talking about here is uh, looking at NASA kind of from the, the highest, most general level down, okay? So kind of like uh, the big umbrella. Uh, and then just slowly coming in and just getting down and down and more focused. All right. So NASA, we know, is an agency. All right. So, and I'm sure you've heard this word thrown around before, but uh, our headquarters are in Washington, D.C. They manage the whole kit and caboodle of all of NASA. And you probably already know this, but... The Johnson Space Center is not the only NASA center there is. There are actually multiple all over the country. There are a few in California, there's one in Ohio, there's one in Florida, there's one in Texas, and many, many more. Okay, so the next level down from that, as you know, I work at the Johnson Space Center. Within each center, you have directorates. Okay, and this is kind of a big fancy schmantz word. Yes, I did just say fancy schmantz in a serious fashion. But anyway, so you've got multiple directorates. At the Johnson Space Center, there one is the Flight Operations Directorate. That's where Mission Control is. And another one is a Life Sciences Directorate. Um, there, there are a whole bunch that we've got, uh, many of which are research-oriented or planning-oriented for the future. The one I work in is called the Engineering Directorate, and we're the group that actually gets to design and build stuff, which is really, really cool. So within the Engineering Directorate, you have multiple divisions. Okay, so one division within the Engineering Directorate, where which I'm focusing in on because that's where I work. So one division focuses primarily on designing propulsion systems. Another one is uh, focused on structures. Another one does guidance and communications. Okay, so there are a whole bunch. The division I work in is called the Crew and Thermal Systems Division. Okay, so within my division, or within each division, I should say, there are multiple branches. So within the Crew and Thermal Systems Division, there is a branch that focuses primarily on designing spacesuits and testing them. There's another one that that makes tools for spacewalks, and there's another one that focuses on thermal technologies. My particular branch is called the Life Support Systems Branch. Okay, And then inside each branch, the last level is team. So Within my life support systems branch where I work, we have a few different teams. One team uh, is called a systems management team, and they manage a lot of our systems that are currently flying in space that are used to uh, manage and monitor the environment and related to life support, so, you know, water carbon dioxide, all of these different things that they actually operate and sustain. We've got another team that manufactures flight equipment and, and flight hardware. So they actually uh, work with contractors to design and fabricate stuff that later gets flown and then it gets operated by our system management team. And then my team is called the technology development team. And we work on technologies that are used to recycle air and water in space, but we do, uh, since we're developing these technologies, we are doing stuff that's being used on the space station right now, but we're also researching new technologies that can and will be used on Orion and other future space vehicles as well. So just a brief recap, 
Agency, NASA. I work at the Johnson Space Center in the Engineering Directorate in the Crew and Thermal Systems Division in the Life Support Systems Branch on the Technology Development Team. So there you go. That's how NASA is organized. I hope this uh, clarified some things for you. Feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions. And have a great day.